Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. So one of the questions that I get from a ton of you guys is, should I have an email list? How do I do that? That seems overwhelming. And once you've built one, how do I get people to actually opt in and join my email list? So that's what we're gonna be covering today. I'm gonna to show you how to set up an email list in MailChimp. It's actually super easy. I'll do that little screen share at the end of this video. But to start, I'm going to be sharing the three ways that I either have used, do use, or I'm planning to use to actually get people to my email list in the first place. So. Before we get started, I do wanna let you guys know that this video is brought to you by A Journey Social, my own social media management course. So this course will be relaunching on October 28th. So if you'd like to lock in the pre-sale price um, or the current price for the existing course, it's $19. You can go to ajourneyeast.com slash course and sign up. You'll get access to the old version of the course and then once it relaunches on the 28th, you'll get that as well at no additional charge or you can just hang out and buy it at the full price on October 28th. So make sure to check that out, journeys.com slash course, linked in the description box. And with that said, let's get into the video. All right, so first way, and really one of the major ways that I get people onto my email list is by using lead magnets. So lead magnets are basically like freebies or you know pieces of material, <laughs> pieces of content that you give away and the currency is not money, the currency is actually email addresses or customer information of some sort. So there's so, so many different ways that you can do this. I personally do this uh, just with Squarespace. So what I do is I create like a landing page where I say, hey, do you want this checklist or this ebook or this free course, whatever it is that you can come up with. Uh, I make a page for that and then they say, yes, I'd like this. And then you can create a little button that just asks for their email address. And once they click on that, then you can send them over to a hyperlink to download your piece of content that you're giving away. So it sounds a little complicated, but if you know Squarespace at all, it's actually pretty simple. And if you don't, let me know in the comments if you guys would like me to do like an in-depth video on this. I do cover it in my um, Money Making Micro Influencer course though. But in case you haven't, haven't uh, taken that course, let me know if you guys would like me to do a video on it. Uh, you can also do it through MailChimp itself. So MailChimp actually has the option for you to set up landing pages in MailChimp. They're not quite as pretty. They're you know not quite as intuitive and all that, but they're pretty cool. And it's a really great option if you're already using MailChimp. You can just quickly create a landing page and get people to sign up through there. And then you can also do it um, through like Facebook. If you wanted to run ads for something, you could actually do a lead generation campaign through Facebook ads and collect the person's information and then email them or send them a hyperlink, um, send them over to a web page to download the information. So there's lots of different ways that you can do that but that's something that I love to do. I've done it with, I have a free course, it's called DIY Your Social Media Strategy, and it just wasn't a course that took a lot of time or anything, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give it away for free, and it's actually built up my email list just so, so much. The next way is, um, this has been actually surprising me. It wasn't really intentional, it just kind of happened. So I have a Facebook group, it's called Money Making Micro Influencer. It's just kind of where, it's kind of like for the insiders of this YouTube channel and my podcast and my courses and all that, just people who want additional information, people who kind of want to network work and so you're allowed to ask pre-qualifying questions on your Facebook group and I've always had pre-qualifying questions just to make sure people you know were, were seriously interested in the content not just stumbling upon my group so I, I would ask like what are some of your social channels and how did you find this group something like that and very recently I was like you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna ask for their email address in here too because I saw a couple of other groups do this and just wanted to test it out. And I was a little nervous that it was gonna put people off, but it's actually gotten me so many emails. And I would say nine out of 10 people do actually submit their email. So you don't have to do it. You're allowed to say, no, I don't want your emails. I think the way that I phrased it is like, you know, if you'd like additional information and be to be, you know, one of the first to know about sales and promotions and things like that, just pop your email in. And I think I've only gotten like one or two people since I've done that in the past couple months say no. Mostly everybody else has put their email in. So that's just a really easy way to get emails. And it's almost like a lead magnet in a way because like the value that they're getting is the group and the, what they're paying is what their email address to be in. Although, like I said, it's not necessary. I wouldn't wanna make it mandatory just cause I feel like that's a little like intense. 
but yeah so that's been a really easy way that I've been getting more leads and then lastly um, just a newsletter this is a little bit more of a passive way and this is something that I tried when I first started my email list and I never really kept up with it and I don't think I did my newsletters right so that's why it wasn't super successful for me I'd love to get to that point again where I am actually delivering really great content that people want to hear from me every week but for now it's just not a priority so I don't have one actively going but basically um, MailChimp allows you to get a little link for your newsletters so you can use that to promote on social media like hey guys check out my latest newsletter and hopefully incentivize people to want to sign up for it on their own and then it also you know enables people to just click and enter in their email I think the trick to this is that you do really need to deliver value like I feel like when I did have a newsletter I was just saying hey guys here's my newest video here's my newest blog post back when I had a blog and like that was it and I feel like it needs to be, you know, hey, here's what's going on in the industry. Hey, here's something cool one of our community members did, um, you know, just an example. And then, oh, by the way, I also have a video. It can't be super hard salesy. And I've done a lot of newsletters for uh, clients in the past that have been really successful because it was like that. It was like a community building thing um, and a very soft sell for the brand. But yeah, you can't just like push things down people's throats. So I definitely don't think I was doing that quite right but um, it is a good way to get yourself some subscribers, especially if you're delivering value and things that people wanna share with their friends and all of that. So with that said, let's go ahead and hop behind the screen and I'll show you guys how to actually set up an email list using MailChimp. So you will of course want to sign up for an account if you don't have one yet. Once you are all signed up, this is what the screen is gonna look like. And what I'm gonna show you guys how to do first is create a list. So click on the list tab there and you'll see a list of all of your lists. These are how you separate your different email lists. So once I click on create, I can fill in all of that detail down there and then go ahead and save. Then going over here to campaigns, this is how we'll actually send out emails, create landing pages and all of that. So click on create campaign and then you'll be able to choose what you want to create. I pretty much just use emails and landing pages for now. So let's just click on email and I'll show you guys how easy it is to build an email with MailChimp. Okay, so you title the campaign um, and then you're going to want to choose which list it's going to. So that's why it's important to build lists before sending this. So it's pretty cool. You can either send it to your entire list or you can send it to a segment. So segments are gonna become really important as you build out your list. You know, when you have thousands and thousands of people on your list, you can separate between people who have opened certain emails and haven't opened or have certain email addresses or joined your list at a certain time or in a certain location. Like I use that a lot during the GDPR stuff, the location filtering. So for the sake of this, I'll just do it to my whole list and then you'll choose a subject and uh, I'm just gonna put hey here, just a really simple thing. And then you will want to build out your content and just click on uh, design your content and MailChimp makes it super, super easy. Did I mention this is not a MailChimp ad? <laughs> so just click one of the templates. Uh, you can really customize these as much as you want to. You can also like create your own if you know how to do that, but I always just use the templates. And then as you can see there, it's almost just like a blog post or something. It's all pretty much just drag and drop and you can upload different photos and use different fonts and make those buttons clickable and kind of do whatever it is that you'd like to. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. If it was, please make sure to let me know. You can leave me a thumbs up and also comment down below if it was helpful. It really is great for me to know what you guys wanna hear about. So if you have any video requests, feel free to leave those down below as well. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. I do post videos every single week about something related to social media and marketing and entrepreneurship or just my life as a social media manager here in Detroit. So make sure to subscribe, join the family, and um, I will have links to all the things that I mentioned, like my Facebook group and my course and I guess my email list if you are interested in signing up. But yeah, I think that's it for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.